For our last video on forces, we're going to look at one more torque practice problem. So in this case, we have a 0.5 kilogram uniform meter stick that is suspended by a single string at the 30 centimeter mark. There's a 0.2 kilogram mass at the 80 centimeter mark, and the question is what mass hung at the 10 centimeter mark will produce equilibrium? All right. So the first step, as with all physics problems, is to start first by drawing out the situation. So we know that there is a meter stick. So we'll go ahead and draw out a meter stick. And we know that the 30 centimeter mark, which is just slightly to the left, there is a string. And we also know that at the 10 centimeter mark, there's this mass we're trying to solve for. And also at the 80 centimeter mark, we have a 0.2 kilogram mass. All right, so let me just go ahead and put in some of the distances that are measured here. So we know that this distance here is 10 centimeters. The string distance here is 30 centimeters. This also means that our mass that we're trying to solve for is 20 centimeters away from the string. And this 0.2 kilogram mass, it is a whole 80 centimeters from the left, which also makes this mass 50 centimeters from where the string is attached. All right, so how do we produce equilibrium? Well, the key here is we want our uniform meter stick here, which is connected by the string to the ceiling, we want it to be balanced on both sides, that there's this mass on the right side which would want to rotate this uniform meter stick clockwise. So we have this mass on the left side that we would want it to balance that out. In addition, we also have to consider the mass of the uniform meter stick. The mass of the uniform meter stick would be assumed to act at the center of mass of the meter stick, so it would act right at the center. Again, this point where the string is attached, that's our pivot. So this is also where the mass of the meter stick would act, which in that case, the meter stick would also want to produce clockwise torque. So let's go ahead and include that as well. So right here, this is where we would also consider the mass of the meter stick. All right, 0 0.5 kilograms. All right, so now let's go ahead and lay out the situation, all right? For equilibrium to occur, that would mean that our torque in the clockwise direction needs to balance out the torque in the counterclockwise direction. Now, in terms of the counterclockwise torque, the mass we're solving for is the only one that is trying to rotate our bar counterclockwise. So we would want R of this mass, M, times the force of this mass, times its angle, which we can see for all of these masses, they're all acting to produce a force that is perpendicular to the meter stick. So all of these angles are gonna be 90 degrees. This is gonna be equal on the other side. We have the 0.2 kilogram mass. So we want the distance of this 0.2 kilogram mass. We want to multiply by the force of this 0.2 kilogram mass. And again, it's sine 90. So that is one of the torques that is going in the clockwise direction. We also have the uniform meter stick that also produces a torque in the clockwise direction. So we have to add on the right side R of the meter stick, so the 0 0.5 kilogram mass, the force of this 0 0.5 kilogram mass, times again sine 90. All right. So now we need to figure out what all these R and F values are. So for R of the mass, this is the distance from which the force of this mass acts from the pivot point, which again is where the string is attached. This distance, as we've noticed, is 20 centimeters. So here we can write 20 centimeters 
times the force produced by this mass, which this is just the force of gravity, the weight of the mass. So mass times gravity, sine of 90 is just equal to one, and all of these are just equal to one, so we can just leave them out because they cancel out. This is equal to the R of the 0.2 kilogram mass, which we've noted is 50 centimeters from the pivot point. So we have 50 centimeters times the force of the 0.2 kilogram mass, which again is just mg. In this case, we know the mass is 0.2 kilograms times gravity plus the R for the 0.5 kilogram mass, which is the meter stick. The meter stick, its mass is assumed to act at the center of mass, which this is at the center, 50 centimeters. So the distance from the center of the stick to the pivot point, this is 20 centimeters. So here we have 20 centimeters times the 0 0.5 kilogram mass times gravity. All right, so the nice thing here is we can see that all the terms have gravity, so we can essentially just cancel out gravity and not have to deal with it. So that we deal with what we have left, we have uh, units that we can also cancel out, right? So everything here is centimeters, so we can get rid of the centimeters. So that means here on the left, we're going to be left with 20m is equal to 50 times 0.2. That's going to be equal to 10. So this is 10 kilograms plus 20 times 0.5. That's also going to be equal to 10 kilograms. So then we have 20m equals 20 kilograms, which means in order for this mass hung, meters from the left of the stick, it must have a mass of one kilogram in order to produce equilibrium. All right, and that's it for our videos on forces.